Tonight, the baseball world mourns the sudden death of Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs, found dead at just 27 years old. Welcome into MLB Whip Around. I'm Amber Theo Harris along with Nick Swisher and Eric Karros. We'll get you caught up on tonight's games a little bit later in the show. But first, we begin with the tragic passing of Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs. The 27-year-old was found unresponsive in his hotel room this afternoon in South Lake, Texas, and pronounced dead on the scene. Foul play is not suspected, and an investigation is ongoing. The Angels released this statement earlier today. They said it is with great sorrow that we report Tyler Skaggs passed away earlier today in Texas. Tyler has and always will be an important part of the Angels family. Our thoughts and prayers are with his wife Carly and his entire family during this devastating time. With the Angels on the road, fans in Anaheim made their way out to Angel Stadium, starting a memorial. Skaggs was an L.A. native who was drafted by the Angels out of Santa Monica High School in 2009. Tonight's game against Texas was postponed, but Rangers manager Chris Woodward spoke earlier today. You know, I had personally heard just tremendous things about him, and, um, you know, in L.A., everybody spoke very highly of him, and it's just a really sad situation, obviously, and... Uh, you know, our hearts go out and we're, we're thinking about him. We're thinking about his family, the organization, his wife, um, everybody that knew him, that was friends with him. Um, it's important that we all kind of obviously keep him in our thoughts and prayers, but also have just the perspective of, you know, how fragile, well, you know, life is. Um, just really sad. <clears throat> For more on Skaggs' death, we bring in our MLB insider, J.P. Morosi. J.P., obviously an unspeakable loss for Tyler's family. Can you help give us a sense of what kind of person and teammate Tyler Skaggs was? Well, good evening, Amber. And, and he was at the center of the Angels clubhouse in so many ways, as we just saw actually last night, uh, a, a very upbeat uh, Instagram post from him that was actually his idea for the team to have a Texas-themed road trip to play the Rangers. There they are. And th that photo, again, was uh, posted just last night by Tyler Skaggs. Uh, and this, again, was his idea. He was very close on the Angels team to Mike Trout, very close to Andrew Heaney. Uh, I spoke today as well with Brad Ziegler, who pitched with him with the Arizona Diamondbacks, who spoke to the, the duality of Skaggs, both a very lighthearted, easygoing teammate in the clubhouse, but then a very serious competitor on the mound. And, in fact, this year, in so many ways, Amber, he had really adopted the, the Angels' new usage of analytics and really tried to find different ways to perfect his pitching style and become even better as a pitcher. So very curious young man. I had a long talk with him in spring training a number of years ago. Just so easy to talk to him. I remember, I remember walking away from that conversation feeling like I'd known him for 10 years. He was that easy to relate to. And I think as, as we reflect on his legacy and, and his place in the game, Amber, I think my, my thoughts are going to go most of all to his mother, Debbie, who uh, there are so many wonderful stories of the two of them and their relationship. She was a long time as, as uh, was a longtime coach at Santa Monica High School as a softball coach and so Tyler really grew up around that field around her players learning the game through that way and actually I, I was actually just told tonight in fact that Tyler planned to honor his mother's Mexican heritage by playing for Mexico in the next World Baseball Classic he had taken some steps to do that as a family tribute so it just gives you a sense of how thoughtful a young man Tyler Skaggs was. Man, as a mother, you just can't imagine the pain that she's in tonight, and you just pray that she can find some peace somehow. But as you said, this happened while the Angels were in Texas getting ready to start a series. I mean, so hard for that organization. What are their plans as they attempt to move forward? Well, Amber, the, all indications are, at least at this point in time from speaking to sources today, that they are going to play a game on Tuesday. So that this series will resume uh, the Rangers and Angels uh, on Tuesday in Texas obviously with heavy hearts and uh, I certainly I know a lot a lot of people around the Angels organization reflecting back to the loss of Nick Aidenhart 10 years ago that that tragic loss uh, also this this team has really dealt with a lot of tragedy in, in recent years former pitcher Tommy Hansen passed away uh, three years ago Aaron Cox the brother-in-law of Mike Trout uh, died last year he was a minor, minor league pitcher in the organization and of course during the winter time Luis Valbuena uh, perished in the car accident in Venezuela so the team has gone through a lot uh, this is going to be a very difficult time and I know certainly as uh, Nick and Eric can speak to just the way that the, the clubhouse functions this is going to be a very difficult time because these players are so used to their routines he's a part of those routines and again as we talked about a central figure in that clubhouse a, a very fun loving person for so long in the clubhouse so I know a lot of heavy hearts and difficult days ahead for the Los Angeles Angels. JP thanks so much uh, for the information stick around we'll talk a little bit later with you in the show. 
And as he said, I mean, this one really hits home, guys. He said baseball is a small fraternity. It's a very unique brotherhood. And t a 27-year-old young man is lost tonight, and, and that's very sobering. No, it really is. And, and, you know, I go back about a month ago uh, doing an Angels-Mariners uh, game, and I'm sitting in Brad Osmus's office, the manager, and in comes Tyler, and he's joking around with Brad about, when am I going to pitch next? You know, I don't want to rest on five or six days, blah, blah, blah. And then he sees me, and he says, hey, E.K., How's your son doing? So my son, a few years ago, he and Tyler Skaggs were at the same rehab clinic going through their rehab process. And the fact that he asked me about it and that he even remembered, as a father, I'm thinking, man, you know, forget baseball player. We're talking about just the character, the type of person uh, he was. Um, you know, you sit back and you hear something like this and you just go, it's unbelievable. And it makes you take stock in what's really important in life. Yeah, I think this is just so much bigger than the game in general. Uh, I think this is even bigger than the, you know, this rings true. I mean, there's just the fraternity of athletes. I mean, there's always that mm -hmm. major respect you have, regardless of what you've done. You know what the grind is like. And, and this rings through it all. I, I, it's just so hard. I mean, I'm even sitting here. I'm a father of two. I couldn't even imagine uh, going through, you know, what his mother's going through right now. Mm. It's just a sad time for the game. Yeah. Uh, and thoughts and prayers go out to everyone affected by this. Yep. And I remember 10 years ago with this organization going through this, the grace that Mike Sosha led that team forward through this. Um, I'm sure we'll see this team band together again and, and do the same, but a very difficult night as we continue to remember Tyler Skaggs, who was dead at the age of 27.